Hello everyone, welcome to this Dota 2 ga Gamecast. Oh, let me adjust my audio. This is a captain's draft game, so you can see that they already banned out the heroes. We have Weaver and Phoenix being picked, as well as Winter Wiper and Bounty Hunter, so probably uh, Offlane Weaver and Offlane Bounty already picked, and Phoenix might be a support, or it could be a carry Weaver, I don't really know yet. Uh, I'll try. Wait, I'll try to mute all these uh, sounds coming from everyone else. So uh, let's see. More playing axe, being picked, sky mage, and mage. Pretty fast. The picking stage goes in the captain draft. Uh, probably hmm, support bounty hunter. But well, that would be weird. Maybe oh, maybe axe in the jungle. Often bounty hunter. So they're just going to put winter wyvern as the solo support. Uh, a so carry weaver is not really. Likely, since they have a morphling, although sometimes morphling is played as a sport. Uh, really interesting draft. This is what Captain's draft gives you, I guess. Who do who who they have that's good at mid? Dazzle. Okay, so it's definitely a support dazzle. So who's middle? Ah, it's hard to tell. I think Medusa could be really good in the mid lane for the dire. Right, we'll have to see though. Uh, let's see how do I save you all, friends? Okay, offline. All right, now let's buy. Uh, let's see who would they pick. I think Medusa and Luna would be okay for the mid lane. Apart from that, um, Warlock is ah Tinker. There you go, Tinker, Warlock, Medusa, Luna, all really good mid laners. So we'll have to see what they pick. Uh, that but that would mean that to support Morphling if that happens, because it's likely that Phoenix would go offline. Hard to see what. Oh, Sand King. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe Scarlet Mage's middle. This is going. This is a really tough draft to completely understand. Let's see what we have. People are picking their heroes. I'm really not sure how they're going to line this up because who would they put middle exactly? I think they well, they probably put Dazzle and Axe together. Anti Mage with a Wyvern. and Bounty Hunter middle. Yeah, that's not going to be. That's gonna be a hard one. It'll be hard to tell what they're going to do. Uh, for the dire, just as difficult, really. Um, could be Phoenix off lane, Morphling mid, Weaver, or Skyrim Sand King together. Could be. It's hard again. Not your normal drafts that we usually see. Man, looks like everyone picked. Let's see what. Where they're going to go. Alright, and uh, and this is an in-house game between uh, Rex and Team Unknown apparently. So let's look what we have. Let's see what we have. We have Anti-Mage being played by Ain't Free. We have Bounty Hunter being played by AC. We have Egg uh Triple Seven being played by uh, on the Dazzle. We have Axe, looks like he's going mid being played by Victor C Z. Last is support to Wyvern being played by Romalda, going level 1 Arctic Burn. Cool. We have Weaver. Uh, looks like he's going. Not sure where. Being played by CC. We have. Looks like he's going to be the Offlane uh, Phoenix being played by Sinan. We have Morphling being played by Andre. Scarlet Mage being played by Endel. And lastly, we have the Sand King being played by Nan. What is his name? Nan the Parbat. Alright, so it looks like the. Um, lots of talking. Looks like the Radiant want to take the bottom bounty ruin and the Dire will take the top one. Most of the time people just, you know, they each secure one ruin unless you really want to fight them. I don't think Axe will want to go in there. And here, Bounty Hunter. Let's see. Looks like, yeah, I really don't know how exactly the lanes would go, so I'm not gonna try to guess them yet. Do they see the Bounty Hunter? He has boots, so there we go. Everyone, everyone. It's a bunch of, okay, so it looks like it's going to be Morphling middle and Phoenix bottom, and yeah, the Skyrat Weaver top lane. And I think Sand King will probably be jungling a lot, so that's going to be very useful for him. And yeah, there are two Spears, although I think the Roshan one's way cooler. And Anti Mage, yeah, him and Winter Wyvern, and ah, Dazzle's here. Who's middle? They took Axe. Axe middle against 
morph thing. You don't see that often. And that's the bounty hunter top. Bounty hunter might have a really rough time with lasting. So Axe against Morphling. I think, yeah, at the beginning Axe might win, but yeah, he's actually doing a pretty good job so far. But I think I, I think the, the advantage goes to Morphling overall. If he, he should be able to win okay this lane. And let's see. Um, Phoenix against this lane should be okay because he's not um you know he doesn't have there's nothing against him to st no no instant stun no silence if he was up against a skyrath mage or sk he'd have trouble but phoenix against land they have no lockdown to give him down yep sand king's gonna go with jungle he already stacked but level one jungling with sandstorm is really slow and just barely worth it and morphling how's he doing against the axe now four to five looks like it's gonna be okay uh i wonder if axe is gonna go more points than bow hunger like he might. Well, let's see what he's gonna go for. Yep, he's gonna go for more points about hunger, which is good as long as Morphling doesn't get a last hit. But if he does, then it's gone. Oh, looks like he might be in trouble. Is Morphling saying now? He's fine. So Axe is farming okay in the mid lane. So the game goes into who has the oh, Sand King's here, but no stun. Not sure what's going for. This is a first blood. This is a first blood. An Axe getting first blood on the Morphling mid. Now that's not something you you can say every day. So, both teams who scales better in the late game, the I'll say that uh, the dire scale much better into the late into the late game. Oh, looks like we have some harass going on, but Phoenix should be okay. It's Firebird against Frost Dragon, and looks like the fi the Frost Dragon is winning for now. Yeah, if you look at it, the rated only have who really scales into the late game is Anti Mage. He scales well, but Compared to, let's say, they have Weaver and they have Morphling. And I say those two skill, we maybe not as well. Okay, Morphling definitely as well. But the Weaver not as good as the Anti Mage, but they both scale to late game. So that's something that, that's an advantage that they have. And you can see that Bounty is actually doing not so bad. He's doing far better than the Phoenix, and I thought it would be the other way around. So it looks like the die just not having as much fun as the radiant in this early game. We go one, no. Oh my god, I thought it would be too slow. And let's get. Let's see. He has boots. He's probably gonna stay in the lane until he has level six. He's going for two points in shuriken toss, which is what you should do because the scaling of the damage in this spell is very odd. It's uh, 100, 200, 250, 325. So two levels is usually optimal. After that, you can go probably max shadow walk. And Weaver, he has okay, rate right, bad, all right. So he has Shikuchi level level two, German attack, it's good harass. I think at level four you should probably take the swarm. That's the best way to play Weaver. And I uh, don't have any. Ah, uh, he got the uh, Orb of Venom to help him later. They have a Sentry, but uh, they seem to be using. But does he have? Uh, he has a swarm. Good. And Sand King, not jungling particularly fast. Oh, Mud Golem, so lucky. Yeah, he, he's not jungling as well as he could be. And Bounty Hunter, giving them problems. Oh, he's silenced. Can they get the killer? I don't think they have enough damage. And no, he can just go invisible now. And he does. Yeah, but he's going to be fine. M bottom lane, let's see. Uh, Morphling getting the ruin. Morphling really starting to fall behind the axe. He's 10 and 2 against the 17 for one axe. And you have to remember that Morphling, his attacks rage is quite slow. Oh, damn, I didn't miss it out. Auntie Hunter was able to get the kill on the Sand King. This is the thing, Sand King is just not a very good jungler. And we have Axe going in for the Skyrath Mage. He's, remember, he's hasted and Skyrath Mage is dead. Oh, it's 3 for 0. Radiant really s starting to snowball out of control. Uh, SK is here, he stuns the Axe. Looks like he won't be able to do anything. And looks like who, who's fighting who now? And it looks like we have a dead Morphling. Thanks to the Bounty Hunter coming in thrown with that Shuriken Toss. And he's putting 3 points Shuriken Toss. That's interesting. I think the two is enough, but uh, you can't deny it has good burst damage to level four. And dunk denied indeed. Alright, let's look at the the gold experience going. Looks like the gold especially going to the radiance favor. Let's see what happens. Well, Anthony, Anthony has just been sitting here farming. So it looks like he might be going for an early manta. I think you're probably gonna go. Oh, he's having trouble lasting slightly against the phoenix. But either way, he should go for the battlefield regardless. And he's going for the burning build with one point each, and then he's going to stats. And Dazzle, he has one point in poison touch, and he's saving the other point for what he needs it. So this is kind of this is clever. He has a sentry. I'm not sure what what it's for exactly. 
the Sentry Ward doesn't. I mean, I guess against Sand King he has envy, but apart from him, who does? And let's see, what does Winter Wyvern go? He's going for more points than Arctic Burn, which is a really good spell for harassing. Uh, so, yeah, that, no wonder the Pink is having a tough time. It only has 5 CS compared to the Bounty, has 10 and 2 kills, remember. Oh, wait, someone da taking damage? Alright, so it looks like Scarab Mage is going to try to help the Mortling. The Mortling will definitely need some help against this uh, axe, really going out of control. He, he managed to get the run. This is going to be a Duncan. No, does he have enough mana? Not enough mana, but one more spin. Is he is he a dead? It is a dead uh, Scarlet Mage. Not enough mana, but not doesn't matter in the end. This is he wants to get the Ruin. Should be okay. And yeah, he has the Ruin. And he's fine. And Bomblet, looks like we might have a dead Phoenix. He already used his deck. Anti Mage doesn't want to go for it. That is questionable indeed. He blinks in there, but he's like, nope, nope, I don't want to. I don't want to. So she was flying. Ah, I was hoping it would be the Rash Roshan one. So Ice Bird versus Fiber, definitely. And uh, Ice winning so far. It's a song of Ice and Fire, people. And Winter Weapon, he has the. Took the bounty. I like his skill build. You want to put one point in uh, Splinter, one point in Cold Embrace. Splinter for the slow, uh, Cold Embrace for the magic community, for the physical community you get. So, looks like Phoenix, he has his Tranquil Boots diving. And he's fine. And can they kill the Dazzle? They might be able to kill the Dazzle. They do. But it looks like it will become at the cost of this uh, Scarlet Mage. It does. And now Phoenix. It, anti Mage going ham on. But, well, I guess in the end he just stopped. So, yeah. he could have, like, a couple more hits, kill, hits and he go, could have gone and killed. And, oh, okay. So he wanted to get a power threat. Now he's going for Balfi. Alright, cool. No, not Manta Rush. Morphling, he has yeah, he has his waveform going to be maxed out. Most people put more points in Morph on, than, and don't put anything at that strike. I think that having a small nuke is actually kind of good, especially because it has a mini stun. Axe, uh, saving up going for straight bl Blink Dagger. 47 CS, that's not bad at all, actually. So late game definitely looks like it's going to be in Dyer's favor, but considering the way that the Radiants are playing, they may not reach that stage. And Axe does have his fast dagger. I think that they should rotate, put the Winter Wyvern or Dazzle middle, and let Axe just go around killing people. And he's using a depth strike to last. Oh, Weaver died. That is very surprising. Weaver dying to Bounty. And looks like we might have a dead death as well on the Phoenix. Two dead, just as fast. And looks like. And I don't think their prospects are going to improve with this Blink Dagger, because now Axe is just... He can just really cause some damage. And they see the Skyrath Mage. Well, they didn't see him, now they see him, and he's just standing there. Oh, he looks like he might be dead. I don't think he's going to make it out alive. No, will he get the kill? Dazzle? Uh, looks like he wants to knife himself, but he's like, nope, nope, I'm fine. It's 9 for 1, and it is a massacre right now for the Dyer. Dyer has no longer that is very well they do have Sand King who's you know locked down but he is not as good. He is not as good. And this is actually this is actually really cool. I didn't realize you could uh, farm like this. Usually I farm closer here so they run out of range, but that's actually pretty cool farming. It looks like he's saving for Blind Dagger as well. And yeah, he needs it. He needs to farm. He really his team needs him. Was the experience graph not out of control yet? Gold slightly more of a problem. So I think you should have Dagon there right now. I should be okay, actually. Oh, and Anti Mage. Yeah, he has his broadsword. Oh, again, Weaver dead. How is Weaver dying to this one? I'm guessing he's throwing tracks, but if Weaver is smart, the moment you get tracked, you can just time lapse to remove it. But, I mean, yeah, 50 mana, but oh, wow, interesting. Alright, Anti Mage going in, killing the Skyrath Mage, and it is another death for the Dyer. Oh dear, this looks really bad. But they might still be able to, you know, um, come back a little if if they uh, they get a couple of kills because of the rubber band effects. And Axe just, yeah, I think he's going to get tranquil boost next probably. It's really good for him. I'm not sure. He has a gold. I think he should get it. And yeah, Axe just after so maxed out battle hunger. A bit new, but I, but it seems to be working for him so far. So you can see that. Oh, uh, it looks like we might have a dead. No, it should be fi should be fine. And TP support is coming in, but at this point, it's not really worth it. Weaver, 
the night is on tower, so at least that's something. And if they try to if they go for one vibrant, that might be good. And will they will they go for him? Anti mage? Uh, going ham, but no, it doesn't really find him an illusion. And making illusions of anti mage is really good because you get the mana break. Yeah, it is the isn't it now it's called the black build? It used to be called the money build. And yeah, anti mage is illusions chasing him. Will Morphling go for it? He does. Morphling is here, but looks like we might, it's gonna be a dead Morphling. And it is Axe. Looks like he's going to be he's looking for some blood. This is he doesn't see anyone in the lane, so he just stays back. And he's going for blade mail next. I don't know why he's not finishing his tranquil boots, but I guess with bottle he has enough regen that he doesn't need it. Alright, mid lane. Weaver, come on. Uh, second point gemini attack. I'm not sure what, what that's for. I think one you want to put um, one point gemini you max out the swarm. It's such a good spell. If not, you can even go stats better than gemini attack early on. And Weaver. Going for Lincolns. I don't really like this because he just doesn't have any early game presence. I mean, he has boots, he has triangle rate band. He want you want to go maybe Aquila drums or you know even just a couple of other rate bands just to make him a bit more useful. So I don't think rushing Lincoln is going to help. And what does Lincoln really help you against? Mana Void, Track, and Shuriken, Dazzle's Poison Touch, Mal Hunger, Winter Wyvern, Winter's Curse, and Splinter Blast. So apart from Winter's Curse, I don't think the other things. Oh, and the Dunk. Apart from Winter Scourge, I don't think the other other things you block with uh, Lincolns are worth it. I think that this uh, Weaver should have gone way early game items. And this one might have a push here. Dire looking, looks like they're going to gain away defense. Like they're all here except Phoenix. And Phoenix is actually the person who should be here the most because he he's a really good team fighter. They see them. I don't think they saw all the way here. And alright, they're pinging the Dazzle. Might be a good death for them. They can get it. They can't. Can they silence him? Sand King with a stun. Oh, come on. All right, they got a kill. All right, All right it's, it's small, but it's something. Uh, looks like Bounty Hunter's tracking them down. Yeah, this might be the beginning of them. They see the uh, the Ice Bird, the Winter Vibrant, and they go for him. And bugs don't latch on, but they they do have a few, uh, uh, what, are they, what are they called? Fire Spirits on him. They, can they land this stun? Oh, no, he took Winter's Curse. And no, Phoenix managed to plant his ultimate just in time. Instead, we're gonna have a dead Winter Wyvern. Now it's Axe. Uh, Winter Wyvern is dead. It's 2 for 0 so far. If they retreat now, it's going to be really good for them. But if they get the Axe, it'll be even better. Axe, uh, looks like he's getting, he's, they can see him now. And he's dead. This is a dead Axe. It's 3 for, for nothing right now. And that, this might actually be the comeback that they're looking for. Might be, can I see the graphs? I want to see how they change. Oh, give me a fight recap. Oh, looks like it's going to be a dead uh, Sand King, but still worth it considering what they got in return. Huh? Yeah, check out the experience and the gold. That's, they really needed this. They didn't, they didn't even give them that much gold. Just 300. So, oh, let's see. Bounty Hunter, what's he going for? This is nice. This guy, oh, he's going into, he's morphing agility. He was morphing agility, didn't change his mind. Alright, top lane. Looks like uh, it wasn't for free though. Antimage has been pushing, he already has Battle Fury. 13 minutes, and looks like he's gonna go. What, he has something coming on the courier. Drinking Bastos. Oh, we managed to blink away before anything happens. Yeah, Weaver's uh, skill and item build not the best, I think. So let's see. Anti Mage, is he, what's he going for? He has a Ring of Bastos, so he's making a Vladimir's, I think. Yeah, that's pretty odd. Bounty Hunter, I like the choice of boots. Phase boots are really good for Bounty Hunter because they scale very well with his Janada. So we're probably gonna go this way after this, in which case he'll be able to two or three shot people. Easily, Morphling is here, and looks like the Radiant don't really want to engage on this. Oh, Sand King channels his ultimate, but there's no one there. He manages to get the Winter Wyvern, but looks like he might be dead. Winter Wyvern, nice grave, and he casts his ultimate on the Skyrath Mage, but manages to be uh, going out okay. Uh, Skyrath Mage is dead now. Looks like Morphling might die as well. The Axe Illusions can spin, but doesn't matter at the end. And the Epicenter definitely missed on that one. Ah, uh, that was... they just were... he just thought they were coming... I don't know, he was... He should have been more patient. Really? 10k? Nice! That is very impressive. So... Unlucky Dazzle. Um... 1, 2, 1... 1, 2, 1... Yeah, not, not bad. It looks like he has Arcane Boots. Definitely the Arcane Boots on Dazzle. You eat... Oh, looks like they're going to dive in for the Phoenix. Will he use his ultimate? Is he going to use his ultimate? He does, but I don't... 
Oh, he didn't slow them enough. So he's gonna die. Oh, poor Firebird. So, yeah, that's definitely the arcane boots. I think maybe this iron branch will become a mecha later. I feel like a good item. Winter Wyvern. What does he have? Yep, he maxed out Arctic. But I'm, I'm interested to see what he maxed out next. Cold Embrace or Splinter Blast. I think it's gonna be Splinter Blast. And he already has his tranquil boost, it's like he's gonna go for, for Medan. I think they want to. Oh! I think they're looking for Roshan with the Vladimir's and. Oh! Almost dead. Zeus Ultimate? No Zeus Ultimate, okay. Yeah, I think they're going for an early Roshan. We'll have to see. Weaver. Yeah, still going for Link as I disapprove of this skill build. I don't think you need Gemini Tech so early on. It doesn't do anything. Phoenix is going for the. Uh, either a pipe or a mecha, looks like it's probably going to be a mecha, which is which his team desperately needs. Morphling, what does he have? He's all, not, not much actually, this is surprisingly low. Oh, looks like they dive on the Skyrath Mage and he's dead before I can even get a glimpse of what, that, what was that going on. And Swarm coming out, remember it's just level 1 and this is everyone. So yeah, Morphlin just doesn't really have much either. Is, is there anything on the courier? No, this is a very underfunded Morphling. That's fun. All right, Skyrath Mage. He's going for Max or King Bolt. He probably should max Ancient Seal after this. Uh, you really want to take out the Dazzle from the Five Freaking Grave. And yeah, he doesn't have it much either. I can understand it because he's a support. Oh, hey, no, nothing. Sand King has his uh, Blink Dagger. I'm sure he's gonna go for next. I'll have to wait and see. Die just don't really have any items to be honest. And one of the reasons they have such a big gold lead is because of this skill track. Crazy how much gold gives you. And he has a Dissa. So let's see. Phoenix, no armor. Skyrath, no armor. Skyrath especially is gonna suffer. Even Sand King, not famous for his armor. Morphling, if you if he morphs strength, then he's gonna lose his armor as well. So are, are they going for Russia? No, okay, they they scouted. Oh, they found the uh, uh, axe. Can they get him? This will be a great kill if they do. And they, wow, he put out his blade mail, a few spins, and two of them almost died. But big gold swing, big experience swing. Two things they really needed. But anti mate, this still at the top lane, farming up. Oh, this is a nice, cool trick you can do with Winter Wyvern. You put this. Magic Community on a spirit. Oh, this is a bounty hunter. Uh, got the Scarlet Mage. As, they, as the chat has been saying, the Scarlet Mage just won't survive much of this game now. But look at the advantage. Not much compared to what. Uh, oh, well, the huge gold gain because of track. And top lane. Are they going to go for Weaver? I think they want to go for Weaver. But. Oh, and they do. They managed to. Send, holy. How is he hitting you know, so hard? I think. Is it because of. Yes, yeah, because of this medallion. Wow. He just, that was uh, very, very good. And, but in the meantime, they were we able to get the Bounty Hunter. I uh, was spending too much time being impressed. That's the yeah, good gold, good experience. Com much more gold compared to when the Bounty Hunter got, got killed. And Phoenix, are they going to dive in? They go for the anti mage. Oh, they managed to still have it at the last second. But it looks like he should be fine. He's healing. And he's dead. Anti mage is dead. Uh, now that they're going to go for Winter Wyvern, looks like he should, he should probably get the kill as well. Nice stun by the Sand King, and this is like he's going to be a dead Winter Wyvern. Dazzle coming to help, but I'm not sure you want to. Missed uh, Culling, uh, missed Jump, and the, did he use his Culling, his culling Blade on Illusion or something? I don't know, but uh, looks like we're going to have a dead, and he is dead. And now it's Axe and Dazzle against uh, all the Dire team. Even, uh, what's his name, Weaver is here. Are they going to go for the, for the Dazzle first, which they should? It's going to be a dead Dazzle. How many people died in total now? What? Three? Do they see the more? Do they see the Bounty Hunter? Do they have any sort of detection? Bounty Hunter just looking and... Is he going to do anything? So yeah, another good fight for... Oh, jump in by Axe. I don't think he wanted to go for the Skyrath Mage and he got him in the end. Um, but will they be able to kill the Axe now? He gets out of their life. Uh, Bounty Hunter is here. Stun missed. I don't know if he was aiming for him, but missed in the end. Ah, silenced B Bounty Hunter. It looks like he's going to die as well, but not before he takes on the Scarlet Mage. And no, Bounty Hunter is still alive. Uh, this Weaver going chasing after him. Can he use his Chikuchi again? He does, but it's not enough to get the kill. You can't see him. No detection. Oh, unlucky. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. 
Oh, draft. I don't know about that. I just. As well, they actually do have the long ancient seal as well as the stun. So it's not completely like they have zero lockdown, just not enough. And are they going to go for Reaper? Oh, okay, makes off life. And mechanism finished on Phoenix, so that's a good item. It gives them some durability in battles. And you can see that slowly they're. Well, yeah, 13k is. That's something. And yeah, once AM does get Mantis style, though, he should be able to remove anything. And he's getting quite close to the Mantis style. And Dyer has taken no towers. Radiant has taken. Looks like he's going to be 6 range. So they have 5, they're going to take the 6 one right now. And Morphling, the best illusions you can make this game are either Axe. Oh, looks like he's going to go double stun. That was very nice. But are they able to go from Axe? Uh, silence. Nice. The Winter Wipe been working against them. Phoenix Egg. Can they get a kill? Looks like the Phoenix should be able to bring them down. And that looks like three kills for the Radiant. May make it. Sorry, four deaths for, for the Radiant. There we go. Anti Mage. Is it going to be a Team Wipe? It is a Team Wipe. <laughs> Holy crap. This was. Okay, let's. Okay. Oh, look at this. 7k gold, 7.5k experience. And. Alright, the problem with that fight was that. Went to Ivern used his. Uh, what's it called? What is it called? Yeah, cold Embrace on Axe. Kept him there for 4 seconds. In that time, they were just able to pound him. And oh, network connection. I'm not sure what's going on. I hope. Uh, wonder what's. What's going with the game. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure why it's not like so. Uh, do you see that? You could be at 8k lead and cuts down to nothing, just like that. Gold, not so much of a swing, but yeah, that went really badly for them. And yeah, I agree. Antimage doesn't really need to join the fights. Antimage can just go top and split push. That's all. So yeah, and who knew? Antimage is getting close to his master. I should have it very soon. I think you can just sell your coin blade with a. Uh, Ultimate orb instead, much better. Oh, looks like they're going to go for the peaks, and the dunk gets him in the end. Uh, Sand King should be kept. Sand King going for a veil discord, which is good because they have quite a lot of magic damage from the Sky Wrath, the Sand King, and the Phoenix. So, Anti Mage going for his Manta. Bounty Hunter, what's he going to go for next? Interesting, you don't see a Blink Dagger on Bounty very often. That's a bit new. And we have a pause. Alright, so. The urn is good to keep the push going, and I like this one. I don't, I don't know about this one. I just don't see it very often. Hmm. A dazzle, no items. Axe. He finishes blade mail. Listen, he's gonna go for ogre for a blink for a BKB next. What do they have? They go through BKB. They have the axe. Is the sand king slow? The bugs and none of Phoenix's spells go through it. I think no. So the only thing they have that goes through BKB. Will be just a couple of uh, not minor things really. Just the slow from Santa's epicenter. I don't think it counts as much. A winter wyvern. Does he have? He's going for the mecha. All right. So Dazzle's playing a hard five. Let's look at the and Weaver finished his link. Is now he's going to go for power powers. I think he should get it much sooner. And I really just don't don't really like his item build so far. No skill, but I think maxing Geminate is a mistake almost all the time. But hey, it pierces sp spell immunity. There we go. Phoenix. Make it going to go for Shiva's next. Definitely a good item. Works very well with, with uh, his slow, so you can use your egg better. I wonder if he'll consider an Aghanims this game. We'll have to see. Morphling going for Ethereal Blade. Very close. Once he gets it, he can bring down the Dazzle. Winter Wyvern, sort of. Bounty Hunter more so. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to do much against the anti mage or the axe though. But it will amplify the magic damage of other heroes. Scribbling, scribbling, scribbling. Skyrath mage has a gem. This is going to help them a lot. Dewarding and revealing to the bounty hunter. Especially for the guy who's the most weak towards uh, bounty hunter. He should consider getting a ghost scepter. Because he's still going to be bursted down very easily. And he's, and he's dewarding. And lastly, Sand can veil of discord for his whole team. Could be an Aghanims later. Works very well for, for him. So net worth, you can see the top net worth is anti-mage by quite a lot. 5k over the, the nearest dire hero. But it didn't make much of a difference. I think that dire still scale better to late game, so they could take it. Who knows? We'll have to see. So yeah, just getting some water. 
looking at the two teams, I'm actually also with all the scribbling here. Is this their strategy? We go all the way here? Interesting. The rain have, uh, the that actually need to take bottom tower, not nothing else, just bottom tower, but we can also get top tower. Weaver can go back the way. Hmm, anything with the courier? Uh, yep, Axe. Axe already has his BKB. Alright, so no more lockdown and BKB with haste ruined. You should be able to go through them like a hot axe through butter. What about the dire? Do they have anything? No. Have anything. It's going to be very unfortunate if they lose the gem very early. That'll be very scary. I remember when gems used to be able to be destroyed. You can really hurt someone's economy by destroying their gem a couple of times. But now, no. You can't. Still, you can just keep it at your base and leave it there. Oh, the little Roshan is so cute. Look at him. That's an adorable thing. I don't know why he's not flying. He's way cuter than the than their other courier. What is this thing? Goat or something? Flying goat? Me. It's okay, I suppose. It was laggy. All right. What about the dire? I don't like this. I don't like this. What the, what the hell is this? What's, what's this flying wizard? All right. And it looks like we're unpausing. So, where do we leave them off now? Even, in terms of experience, almost 2k only for the And gold to a big dip. Alright, Axe has BKB. If they wanted to, this this could be a big item for them. Um, I don't know, though, if, if the BKB blade now. Yeah, it should be okay. They see the bounty hunter. And looks like they're going to get a dead... That's a dead bounty. The gym already paying off so well. They were able to deward this, and then, then they saw him. So nice going with that gym. Good pickup and yeah, good experience for them. And they do, they want to take the mid lane. Did they see anyone? Okay, I think the bugs may have scouted them out. Oh no, it's the ward and anti mage. So just farming freely. No Yasha yet. He has it now. Now he he should be safe from any sort of. Oh, they go. Are they going for the wood wyvern? Looks like they might be. This, uh, this sentry ward sees them. Went to Wyvern. He's not hit by bugs or anything. Uh, Alright, so. Nothing happened. They, the sentry ward dropped and seized the observer. Where's the, where's the Skyath mage? Skyath, come on, do your job. Now, oh, if he gets it, can he get it? He can get it? Where's the gold? He gets it. Oh, the last second. But I still think it's helped the Radiant a lot, so it's okay for them, they don't mind. Veil vale should be coming up very soon. And Weaver? So Weaver has not farmed well, and he's their carry. It's, I think Weaver's in general is not a very good carry, he's a great offlaner. But as a carry, he just, he's not that great, he just doesn't do enough damage and requires too much farm to be effective. Anti-Mage does have a ton of farm. Look at that farm on Anti-Mage. 15k. That's 7 gold, 7,000 front of the, in front of Mortley. And are they going to go for Roshan? I think the Dire, they, I think they, they were painting this. So they might know. They have a medallion. There we go. Oh, so he's using it on himself, on the Anti-Mage instead of on Roshan. That's interesting. And do they see them? I think the, the, yeah, Dire definitely see them. Here, at least they see these couple of heroes, but what Roshan going down? Not very fast. Fast now with Deso though. And they're smoked up. They're going for it, but I think they're a bit too late. Yep. I think he has the Aegis. Swarm coming in, catches two. Oh, Dazzle, he might be in trouble. Oh, Antivich blinks forward. Is he gonna die? Uh, can they silence him? No. Oh, they, they see him. They know where he is though. Ah, oh, Sand King, mad blink. Uh, they. Yeah, he managed to make it out alive. In the meantime, behind, Winter Wyvern's here. Axe just bought back. I didn't see how he died, to be honest. But Winter Wyvern, the, the Ice Bird, is he dead? Morphin going in. Uh, nice save by the Winter Wyvern, but I think it's dead Dazzle anyway. Anti-Mage just blinking badly everywhere. And looks like they were gonna, they were gonna have a dead bounty as well. Anti-Mage with the big, really big mana where they didn't even get to see. Oh no, I missed it. I missed the big mana void, I feel so bad. But, Morphling, sorry, Weaver made it out alive, so that's something. And I think and they forced an Axe buyback. Check it out, you never see the gold change so even. But Axe bought back, that was a 
pretty big hit for them. An anti mage, 2k extra gold. I think he's gonna go for heart next. Yeah. He can just straight up buy a heart. Straight up. Don't need anything else. Just get a heart. Remember, he's. Oh, Axe links in, misses on the call. I don't. Do they have a gym? Yep, the Scout had lost their gym. And now they, the Axe has it. Well, it looked like there's gonna be a comeback, but maybe not. Um, can they go? No, no, no. They can't. I don't think they can get their axe. I think it would be very risky for them. Um, oh, are they gonna go for the axe? Remember, axe illusions can spin, morphling, ethereal blade, adaptive strike, and he gets it. It's not exactly a shotgun. It's more like a triple gun. And anti mage. Looks like they're gonna get it, get out of their life. Oh, winter wyverns. Uh, when, looks like we sky mage. He got ulti too soon. Didn't lose enough mana this time for him to hit. And all right. Uh, anti mage is down for the first time. The axe comes in. There's a big call. Um, Sand King blinks out of there. He's not, not here for his team. Looks like we have a dead weaver. Now Morphling. Looks like he might be in trouble as well. But but axe uh, blinks in. Will he be able to get anyone? Silenced. Big damage. Remember he had, he's on under veil, so his magic resistance was minus 35 percent just now, taking 35 percent extra damage. That was a big hit. And no, looks like they're going to continue the push. Got the tower, will they keep going? No, they decide, they decide not to. They they see him? Interesting. Sacred Lord. Looks like he's gonna go for Abyssal Blade. I highly doubt it's gonna be a basher. That was a very sad stun. And it misses. They really think that this is that some important oh anti mage goes in. Uh sorry, is it the no so axe goes in wars and manages to kill the uh, Phoenix, but he buys back immediately. Where is the anti mage is here is going for more fling, he has his abyssal blade. Will he do his? No, no, no. Just reset, reset. Let's go back. And they're going for the for the barracks, which is what they should be going for anyway. A phoenix dives in. Uh, oh, it's a big epicenter by Sand King. Can he get anyone? Looks like he gets the dazzle, dazzle saved by the winter wyvern. Uh, looks like he's going to be a dead um, winter wyvern, <laughs> dead weaver, dead skyrat. And looks like the this phoenix won't make it out alive. Only morphling weaver buys back morphling. Uh, is still here. Uh, can he get the shotgun? And uh, no! Went to Wyvern for, with another good save, keeping his team alive. And the Raxes are down. Can, Weaver, not sure you want to go in there. No, he's not trying though. He should be okay. Well, that was. That was interesting. They got the Rax in the end, but it wasn't as clear cut as, as I thought it would be. Weaver, just no items at all. And look at this anti mage. Look at that gold, look at that, it's, uh, almost twice as much, yeah, but I agree, we were just not very effective this game. And uh, there we go, anti-mage, just able to blink out, they, they really needed someone like a lion, lion would have been incredible this game, with his hex, well, that's what you do. And he's going for the rage reaxes, actually, so it's pretty good racks to go for, more damage than the near the barracks. I mean, sorry, it doesn't heal like the Mirror Barracks. And anti mage just, just, he's just walking in, stunned, can they do anything? Yeah, it doesn't mind out it. Maybe if they manage to silence him, silence him, we can just use his, um, Manta style to get out of it. Some, oh, big jump by Axe. It looks like he's probably gonna get the Sand King kill. Weaver uses his ultimate, oh, no, he didn't use that, it was fine. Uh, anti mage blinks in, and manages to get the Sand King in the end. We'll, we'll, oh, Phoenix didn't have enough mind to use his ultimate either. Looks like uh, Weaver did use his time-ups in the end. Morphling able to kill the bounty. Morphling looks like he's in trouble now. The, is backup incoming? No. Just Weaver Scott. Morphling buys back. But I think I think it's kind of just for pride. It's not really going to do anything. mid racks also down. And now nope, they're just going for the top racks. Now they're not even giving them a chance to... And the GG is called 30 minutes. Ah well, it was a good effort by Dyer at the end, but the early game just was too bad. And my name is Audemore. Thank you for watching us.